Hello, kids. Welcome back. I'm here to spill a little bit more tea in the slot community. Strap in. I hope you're ready. This video will be a follow-up to my previous video about virtual group polls. So in that video, I discussed several channels and things going on with each individual channel. And I figured, since so many things have happened, and this has really shook the slot community, that we need to go back and revisit every person that we spoke about. So if you didn't watch the first virtual group poll video, I would suggest you watch that one before you go ahead and watch this one. Otherwise, this one might not make sense to you. So as always, let's just dive right into it and let's start spilling some tea. One of the channels we spoke about was GC Slots and how she could not repay back the people that participated in her group poll. And she was hinting that it might have been cancer, but then it wasn't cancer. I'm not really sure if she ever put out an official statement what happened there. But if you remember from the first video, she was at group poll number 33. So I just went back to her community wall recently and... She is now at group poll number 43. So 10 group polls in, in two months. So we pretty much know what she's doing. She's gambling with subscribers' money just to, I guess, get content for her channel and play on her cards at, at whatever casino she gambles at. So um, we'll keep an eye on her. We'll see what's going on. Uh, I wish her well health-wise. I just wish that wasn't so shady about the way she went around not paying those people back and then just saying that you were never going to have group polls ever again and now here you are 10 group polls in since then very good we also discussed naomi slot channel that she had a winning group poll and that she could not pay those people back because she said her account allegedly got frozen and she had to borrow money from a subscriber to pay people back uh, so checking in on naomi she hasn't uh, done anything with her channel in over a month, so I don't know if she's still repaying that loan or, or what's going on over there. Um, I don't know if maybe she'll be in the Slotty Awards uh, for one of the channels that we need to uh, wish our condolences to because they are now resting in peace. So we'll keep an eye on <laughs> Naomi's Slot channel. Um, I will say I did get a message from the person that lent her the money and i thought that it was very funny that she sent little bonsai bitch boy to uh try to attack this guy for spilling the tea to me uh, i do have those receipts in my possession uh i'm not going to show them we'll just keep them just you know you never know if there'll be a rainy day that uh we need to spill some more tea on Naomi and bonsai so we wish Naomi the best we hope that you know she paid back all of her debts to whoever she owes them to and uh, I can't believe I can't believe that Bonsai is her muscle. That that's laughable. Bonsai, Bonsai, Bonsai is the muscle. Go be with the Lord. Blessed be. I also discussed Naomi's friend Slotty by Nature, who uh, had a GoFundMe for her sick parents. Uh, that the GoFundMe was portrayed that. Her parents were uh, in hospice and that the GoFundMe was to help with burial expenses. And the day after my video came out, Slotty by Nature posted this video. I'm not going to play it, but here's the thumbnail. You can go over there and watch it if you choose to. I feel like I have to watch my words here not to come off as an insensitive person because uh, I feel for her situation. I'm not saying that her parents aren't sick or weren't sick. I just think that the, the situation was handled very shady and it was very inappropriate. And her video just seemed very staged and planned that it was posted the day after, almost like it was ready to go. She still never answered why some of her donors, her largest donors, no longer speak to her anymore. Why some of her friends don't speak to her anymore. Um, it was pretty much, you know, a, a sad video to play on people's heartstrings, which it is a very sad situation 
that she's in or was in. We don't even know. That's the follow-up on Slotty by Nature and her video that she posted. Um, it's a very sad video. I'm not saying that it's not. I wish her and her parents are the best. I think she needs to understand why people are upset with her, that she provided no clarity in the situation whatsoever. The next person that we spoke about was Brian of Denver and his virtual group polls at the Hard Rock in Florida, how his group polls never ended and that they were very different than any other group polls that, you know, you would put in your money and you would get it back or not get it back the same day. This was a an ongoing group poll. And I spoke about in my last video that the Hard Rock might be watching my videos because after my video came out, a communication to all the channels that have approval at the Hard Rocks in Florida received a message stating that they are not allowed to gamble with group money. They have to gamble with their own. And this is the agreement that the Hard Rock in Tampa sends out to any slot channels that wants to record or live stream at their property. And the second from last bullet point reads, as a reminder, Seminole Hard Rock Tampa does not allow team play. Funds may not be shared or pooled and all money played must belong to the player actively playing. They reiterated it to all the people that have approval there. They don't want group holes at Tampa. And um, I guess that's why Brian of Denver now no longer can do those bank the bonuses in Hard Rock uh, because they may have seen my video. So th this is this is good for any channel that does have approval at a casino. You probably should check with them to make sure that the casino is okay with a group poll. There are casinos such as Hard Rock that will allow you to record and live stream, but they don't want the, the group play there. So if you're thinking about holding a group poll, it's probably in your best interest to check with the casino to make sure that they are okay with it. Now I saved the best for last. We spoke about Filthy Slot Channel and his virtual group polls, and he was the only channel that actually put out a video uh, discussing his group polls and trying to rebuttal my video and the receipts that I showed. And I felt that it was very important now to rebuttal his rebuttal. I'm going to try to do it with straight face, okay? Because I just feel like it's I, I'm not I'm not on the same playing field as this person. I feel like my intellect is a little bit higher than his. If you didn't watch his rebuttal, you should. I don't know if you'll understand it because me even making the video that I did and then watching his I didn't understand what the fuck he was talking about. I was so confused at the end of it that I was just scratching my head. I'm like, you didn't really clear your name here. You actually just validated the things that I said. Uh, so if you didn't see, this was his uh, thumbnail in the video. Let's spill some filthy tea response video. And uh, he put the clown emoji on my on my head, which very good. Very good. Bravo, that was good. I really enjoyed it. And I stole the idea from you and I put the clown on you in this thumbnail. So Filthy posted this video. Uh, as you can see, as of two months ago, it has 19,000 views. So um, cut me my check, obviously. You owe the, the LLC of Easy Life a couple of coins for that tea video that you put out. You're welcome. But Filthy was so excited about his video, and before we get into some of his talking points, he wrote on his community wall, if my T video reaches over 100k views, that's the only way I'll do another rebuttal video to the clown's next video, meaning this one, I guess. So I guess he's not going to rebuttal this video because he didn't reach 100k. If not, it's not really worth my time. So it, we know it's not worth his time because he only has... 19,000 views on his T video. And on mine, I have 51. So we don't even have, a, between the two of us, we don't even have 100,000 views. And I don't think that this one will get 100,000 views either. We can certainly try, but I don't think so. So he's not going to rebuttal this video. So he says, we'll see what happens. People have eaten their words before. But I thought that it was so cute, the, the clown emoji in his community post. And I was like, 
wow, you know, people really just aren't interested in your channel. Now, one of the things that he said in his video was that his channel does so much better than mine. He compared his stats with my stats, which he uploads daily. I don't. You're not really comparing apples to apples, but that's fine if that's the way you want to put it out for the people that watched your video. That's completely okay. But I do have one question. So you made this post on your community wall. And it looks like you have 87 thumbs up on it and nine comments. Now, I ran a little bit of a test, Filthy, because you were the one that made the statement that your channel does so much better than mine and all these things. And, and you said, you know, you had all these things to say about my channel. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to make a community post as well, because if if his channel is better, I shouldn't get 87 thumbs up and I shouldn't get nine comments. Right. So what did I do? I took a picture of myself, and that's my shit on the wall, if you don't know, at the parking garage at Bally's. It was an accident. And this is on my community wall. I took the screenshot the same day I took the screenshot of his. And um, I have 315 thumbs up and 193 comments. So I thought your channel does better. Did you... Do you want to clarify? I'm not really sure. See, I don't ever measure my channel against other people's channels. Find a video that I've ever spoke about someone having more views than me or, or better views than me. You won't because I don't really care. I do this for fun. Um, I think everyone knows that by now. And I don't need to slap my dick on the table and get out a measuring tape, um, number one, because I'm the bottom. But besides that, because I just don't care. But since you did, I figured we'd run this little test and it seems like my cute little smile and the shit on the wall uh, had much more engagement on it than you talking about uh, your tea video, which you said that the tea, you know, is king. And that's the reason why my videos do so well. But if you were talking about tea, it should be doing so well, right? But it didn't. Hmm. Okay. If you really do want to compare apples to apples here, uh, I took this screenshot the other day as well. I only have, what, three, less than, a little bit more than 3,000 subscribers, more than you. So my channel is not much larger than yours. But even though you said I feed off of other channels, what did you say in your video? That you pretty much called me like a dick rider, right? But really, by measurement, my channel is bigger. Did you... Did you like do the research before you said all the things in your video? I'm not really sure because a lot of it doesn't make sense to me. Um, I looked at our views. Yeah, you definitely do more views in a month than me, but you put out five times, six times, ten times the amount of content that I do. Um, so imagine how my channel would do if I put out uh, all the content you did. But and we'll get into your content as well. Don't you worry, sweetheart. But, you know, we're comparing apples to apples, and this isn't something that I started. This is something you brought up and you wanted to discuss in your video because you wanted to measure how much better your channel was than mine. So I'm just trying to understand. There's a lot of channels that are better than mine that do way better, um, but I don't know if you really had the the footing for that, for that one. But A for effort, you tried. Now, let's talk about April 21st. It's a, very, it's a very, very important day. April 21st was the day that the group poll video came out. And uh, the video did well, 51,000 51, views. Let's talk about dates now, okay? So as you can see by this screenshot here, the virtual group poll video pr premiered on April 21st of this year. And I was doing some research, as I always do, and I was looking at Filthy's channel on Social Blade, which we've looked at before. Now, I see a dip here, a dip, not a dick, a dip, dip. I see a dip in views between April 20th, look on the bottom right-hand side, April 20th and April 26th of negative 251,000 views. I'm like, huh. Now, when a channel goes negative in views, either means they deleted a video, they made videos private, or YouTube took videos down. Now, we're going to assume, because he did, he would have probably sat at home crying if YouTube took any videos down, and he doesn't have any videos that are worthy for YouTube to take down. So he obviously removed videos 
or he deleted videos from his channel. So I had to dig a little bit deeper for you guys. Remember the date of April 21st. So here on April 26th, fitting in that week time frame, he deleted 313,000 views from his channel. And I was like, why why would he why would he do that? Why would you delete? That's a lot. That's a lot of videos. That's a lot of views. Why would you do that? So I, I did some digging. Do you know what filthy deleted? I'll give you a minute. I'll give I'll give you kids a minute. Come on. You can do it. He deleted all the group pull videos from his channel. Now, if if someone who made a rebuttal video saying that everything I said wasn't true and it didn't make sense, and you're this all-around great stand-up straight guy, why would you delete all this evidence? What was in those videos that you deleted? Because no, you did nothing wrong, right? And only guilty people try to delete things. But don't worry if there are any law enforcement or IRS, tax people, whoever. I do have copies of all those videos that he deleted because I saved them way before I even put out the first video on April 21st. So if anyone needs the copies of the videos, I do have them. They are in the vault. I can certainly email them out. So yeah, so are are you not guilty or are you guilty? Why did you delete? Why did you delete all those videos? All the group pull videos, they're gone. Bye bye. Why? What happened? Tell us. But you're not doing a rebuttal video, so I don't know how you're going to tell us, but I'm sure. I think he's going to do a rebuttal video. You need to pay me more. It's getting too much. It's getting, I can't get a day off to save my life. Let's move on. A lot of people have left comments on my videos talking about Filthy and his appearance and stuff. And I don't usually, you know, go after people's appearance, even though he went after mine in, in his video. Uh, attempting to call me fat, which I'm not fat, I'm just big boned. But that's besides the point. I don't go after people's appearance because people are shitty enough that I can just go after the shitty fucking things that they do and I don't need to make fun of their appearance. They can do that all on their own. But since he opened that door, and if you want to go back and really have a good time, a boring time, because it makes no sense and it's just blah, but go watch his video. Let me know what you think, his rebuttal video. At the end of it, you're just like, wow, does this guy have any intellect? Is he smart? What does he do for a living? Like, how do you live in life being that stupid? What do you do for a living? I lift things up and put them down. Well, that makes sense. Let's go back to these deleted videos. So now what Filthy has been doing lately, and we're not really sure why. He's doing this, but he is chopping up all of those live streams, all of those videos, and he's reposting them almost daily. Multiple videos, the same video over and over. And his subscribers are starting to catch on. Why the reruns? Why the reruns? Why are you playing the same video again? Two channels, same video over and over. Replay of old video, why? Why same streams being played over and over? It says five hours ago, but I watched it yesterday. Is this another filthy slot channel? Because this is freaking clickbait. Playing same video like five times now. So I don't know what, what's going on over there. I don't know if he's chopping up all these live streams, group pulls that he deleted to try to make it look like his own play. And then he reposted it multiple times in the same week. I don't know what's going on over there. He needs some help. He needs an editor or... I don't know. Is he out of money? I don't I don't know. Something's not right if you keep posting the same video over and over and not expect people to realize that. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. Leave a comment down below. Like this video. Uh, next week, you never know what will come out of my mouth. And, you know, people love me. They hate me. They, they want to come after me. They want to hurt me. They want to kill me. They want to threaten me. I have one thing to say for all of you. Don't fuck with me, fellas! This ain't my first time at the rodeo. <laughs>